I stopped her and I said, I would really like to be in your drama class. And she just kind of gave me a look of like, you would want to be on stage and actually like do that? Because I'm super shy and I never talked. And I was like, I'll fake cry for you right now. <laughs> Which is weird because I would never do that. Um, in like real life, I just wanted to be really invisible. That moment of stepping on the stage, I didn't know what I was doing. And just doing it transformed my entire life. It was the first time I ever heard my voice which was a big deal because I was so quiet my entire life. To hear my voice through someone else's words was transformative. That kind of made me realize that this was something I should really pursue. At 14, I think I was. I feel like everyone comes into this world with a creative mind and not until somebody actually tells you that you can't do that or that you're not this, then you start to believe it and that kind of changes your perspective. I remember being young and being like, this is what I want to do for my life and I knew it was going to be hard, but I think it takes a lot of bravery to follow your heart, especially in a world that tells you often to be an artist isn't real, isn't real work. I love from the very first day of just being able to sit down and meet everybody and do the table work and just reading the play and hearing it out loud to getting on our feet and starting to block it to even the tech rehearsal and the long tech hours that we go through or the director moves them in a certain way. Just a subtle movement to a stage left can change a picture immediately and I'm transfixed on, on the whole creative process in theater. I think it's just mind-blowing. I just allow the energy from me, from the actor, from my other actor to kind of morph into this thing that I can work with. And it does transform me, but it's still, there's a lot of pieces of me that come through the characters. And I welcome that versus trying to stifle and hide those things that I don't like other people to see in my real life come through on stage. Because there's a different energy between every character that I've played. There's some that's a little bit more aggressive, some that's a little bit lighter, some that's a little bit more clear, some that's a little bit more muddy. <laughs> and then from there, when I finally find it, the voice comes through the words. Do you ever get that? Some actors do find a lot of therapy in acting, and I have found that in certain roles. And then there are other roles that I learn from that character and how I view the world now through them. You have the potential of being that role, but why, why aren't you there? Is it me? Is it that? There's all these questions. You're so heady about everything. It's really you have to battle yourself on a constant basis. You could defeat yourself, and a lot of people can't handle that kind of pressure of being under a microscope all the time. It's the person in the mirror that you have to fight constantly of telling yourself that you do have something, and so keep fighting for it. The arts and theater or storytelling really helps to tell a story that maybe we don't even know or will never experience before. And maybe that will unify us as a human race to where we can show more of that empathy towards others. And that's why I do it, because I feel like it will educate us about everyone's hum possible human experience and therefore maybe show more love and more openness and more open arms to people. I'd like to think that I'm a vessel for, for a possible change and a positive change and a peaceful change. <laughs>